This is an example video for factoring a quadratic equation with a negative leading coefficient. Quadratic expressions are written in the format ax squared plus bx plus c. Sometimes, however, our leading coefficient a is negative. Like in the following example, negative 5x squared minus 28x minus 15. When our leading coefficient a is negative, we must begin the problem by factoring out a negative 1 from the equation. Factoring out a negative 1 is essentially the same thing as dividing each term in the equation by negative 1. After factoring out a negative 1, we are left with negative 1 times 5x squared plus 28x plus 15. Now we can see that our a term is 5, our b term is 28, and our c term is 15. And we can write these terms on the side like so. According to the AC factoring method, we need to figure out which factors multiply to equal A times C and add to equal B. In our problem, we can see that A times C equals 75. Now we need to figure out which two factors of 75 also add to 28. In order to do this, the best way is to make a table with all the factors of 75. Here we can see all of the pairs of factors that when multiplied together equal 75. Now that we have this table, the next thing we need to do is figure out which of our pair of factors when added together also equals 28, which is our B term. After adding together each pair of factors, we can see that 3 plus 25 equals our b term, 28. So now we know that 3 and 25 will be the two numbers that we're going to want to use to write our new equation. Our new equation can be written as negative 1 times 5x squared plus 3x plus 25x plus 15. We can rewrite our equation this way because as we found over here, 3x plus 25x equals 28x. Now we can divide our equation into two portions. The first portion will be 5x squared plus 3x, and our second portion will be 25x plus 15. Looking at each portion separately, we want to determine their common factors. Looking at our first portion, we can see that 5x squared and 3x have a common factor of x, so we can factor that out first. And looking at our second portion, we can see that 25x and 15 have a common factor of 5 so we can factor that out. When we do this, we need to make sure that our two terms in parentheses are the same. So in our case, we're good because 5x plus 3 and 5x plus 3 are the same. We also cannot forget that we still have a negative 1 sitting out in front of the entire equation. From here, we can determine our final factorization. Our first factor will be the term that we have inside the parentheses. So in our case, it's 5x plus 3. And our second factor will be the two terms that are left over, which we have sitting out in front of our parentheses. In our problem, these are x and plus 5. And of course, we cannot forget about our negative 1 sitting out in front still. The only step we have left is to check our answer. We can do this by multiplying our two factors using the FOIL method, and then checking that answer to see if it matches up with our original quadratic equation. First, we multiply 5x times x, giving us 5x squared. Then we multiply 5x times 5, giving us 25x. Then we multiply 3 times x, which equals 3x, and 3 times 5, which gives us 15. We combine our like terms, 25x and 3x, and we still have our negative sign sitting out front. Finally, we distribute our negative sign to each term in the equation, giving us negative 5x squared minus 28x minus 15, which we see does in fact match up with our original quadratic equation. 